actually, welcome to my science lab as you came. It's actually called Vivo Science Lab, guys. Today, what we're going to be doing is making a cabbage pH indicator. So, this is what you will need. So, to do this practical, you will need a funnel, any size, but I've chosen this one. And also, you will need a beaker, but if you don't have one, a little transparent plastic container or a glass is fine. And then you will also need test tubes. Right, for test tubes, I've done three, three um, in, uh, invisible ones, uh, uh, vi visible ones, which are transparent, so you can see them too. And I've done three, which is going to be, um, so this one is going to be for, um, uh, it's going to be for different um, liquids. Uh, these three are going to be for the other three. So this one is going to be neutral, as you know, and this one is going to be very highly, highly, highly acidic. And this one is not alkali, but like in the middle with a pH of about pH 10, 11, I would say. Okay, so that's what you will need for, um, and you will also need um, a record sheet if you have one. Um, I have one. And you... And if, um, if I were you, I would have some safety goggles, guys, just in case, because you're going to be dealing with high acidic things, um, alkaline, neutral things here, so you might as well have some for the safety. And additional equipment, you will need fresh cabbage. I have put, well, you need red fresh cabbage. I've put nice chunky leaves off of here, so I've got one, two, three. Three is more than enough, you probably need one or two depends on how big they are but this is absolutely fine um so just put the thing like that and also um you will need a stove which is in my kitchen i can't bring to you and you will need water so this is just water here this basically you can have any anything you can find anything around the house with a ph with a different ph like water soapy water and then washing up liquid which is made from this so it's basically the same thing. You can have milk, you can have sparkling water, you can have lime, you can have vinegar, you can have all sorts. Can you, if, you have, if you're in a proper lab, guys, like me, you can have high, high hydrochloric acid, you can, uh, sorry about the spelling, high, hydrochloric acid. You can also have sodium hydroxide and all different chemicals like that, but we're going to keep it simple so everyone can make it. That's why I also changed this from using either a universal indicator or a p or a slash pH indicator, or using a what do you call it again? Or using litmus paper. Yeah. Well, this is basically like litmus paper. Okay. And as I said, you will need different thing liquid types. In fact, you can even use solid things like ice cubes, toothpaste, and stuff like that. Okay. So. To start our practical, we need to prepare the indicator. So we're going to shred the cabbage leaves. So this is my cabbage leaves, guys. Oh, just one fell on the floor. Um, this is basically my cabbage leaves, guys, as you know. And I'm going to paste them in a pan um, with a half a cup of water. So meet me in the kitchen. 